You know what my least favorite thing about the website you porn is? <laughs> they let people comment on the porn, and that's unnecessary. People leave weird comments. Yeah, that chick, I bone her, and I shit on her chest and lick it off. Who's with me? Nobody. <laughs> Nobody's with you. You're licking shit. That's a disgusting activity. I feel like you should be solo in your shit-eating endeavors. Don't try to bring me or the rest of the you porn community into your nonsense. I speak for the whole you porn community. <laughs> the anytime there's an interracial scene, a black guy and a white woman is always racist comments. Fucking niggers are fucking our white women. Like, dude, are you seriously being racist and masturbate at the same time? <laughs> niggers, I hate them so. but I can't look away from this scene. This couple has amazing on-camera chemistry. <laughs> the guy's a loser. All those videos have descriptions. You know what you're gonna see before you click on it, but this guy still clicked on it because his horniness beat out his racism that day. <laughs> I have a situation in my apartment right now. I have a surplus of pickle juice in my apartment. Too much pickle juice, because after the pickles are gone, I don't like throwing out the pickle juice, it just feels wasteful. So lately I've been dipping my fingers in the pickle juice, and I flick it on my sandwiches for flavor, like that. Like, how many flicks does it take to properly flavor a ham sandwich? Between 7 and 11, depending on how big your fingers are, and how long you leave them immersed in the pickle juice. There's lots of variables. I studied this. I get home one day and all the pickle juice is gone. I asked my roommate, hey man, what happened to the pickle juice? He said, I threw it away. It's just pickle juice. I said, it's not just pickle juice. I flicked that on my sandwiches for flavor. I told him, hey man, you know I gotta hurt one of your lizards now. He has like seven lizards. That's way too many lizards. They don't do shit. They've never been on Animal Planet. They're not even famous lizards. They're random lizards. They chill in my apartment all day. They have lights on them all the time, but they don't put any money on a light bill. Who are these lizards getting all these free lights? I pay for my lights. I will fry one of those lizards and have a lizard sandwich and flip pickle juice on it. I'm a big rap fan. I like rap videos, but a lot of them are weird. They have to be continued, but they never have a second video. Like, where's the second video? So much suspense, I need to know. Are they gonna pour more champagne on these bitches? Somebody gonna bring a towel? These girls are wet. What's going on here? So much suspense, tell me! I saw Lil Wayne get interviewed. It was bad. This journalist was like, Lil Wayne, if you could ask George Bush any questions about Hurricane Katrina, what would you say? And he was like, I'm a gangster, and gangsters don't ask questions. What? <laughs> gangsters do ask questions. Asking questions is a big part of being a gangster. Hey, motherfucker, where's my money? That's a question. <laughs> do you want to die tonight? That's a question, too. <laughs> what, what? That's two questions. <laughs> Gangsters always ask questions. I want to be a gangster. I do, I want to be a crip, but minus the gang banging and shooting people, because if you take all that away, it seems like they just dance and go to barbecues all the time. <laughs> just have fun as a gang. Hey, cuz, pass the potato salad. This barbecue is great. You want to go bandana shopping after this? I really enjoy being a crip. The camaraderie is my favorite part. I was coming out the store early, I just bought some Oreos and some Chips Ahoy. I get outside, there's this guy like, hey brother, it's my birthday today. And that was the first time in my life without any sarcasm, I could say what? You want a cookie or something? <laughs> Cause any other time you say that, you being mean, but I meant it from the heart. How many cookies you want, man? You want seven cookies? That's way too many cookies. You being ridiculous right now. Get like three or four cookies and then get out of my face. <laughs> Hannibal is my real name. I was named after this General Hannibal Barker, but not a lot of people know about him, so I'm forever associated with Hannibal Lecter and Silence of the Lambs. That's not even a real dude. Why can't I be Hannibal from the A-Team sometimes? 
Every day I had the same conversation with people about my name. Your real name is Hannibal? Yeah, my real name is Hannibal. Your parents named you Hannibal? Yes, my parents named me Hannibal. So Hannibal is on your birth certificate? Yes, Hannibal is on my birth certificate. But why did you just ask me the same question in three different ways? I really want to choke that person and see how they handle that. Are you choking me right now? Yes, I'm choking you right now. Are you using your hands to apply force to my neck? Yes, I'm using my hands to apply force to your neck. Are you trying to stop the circulation of blood and oxygen to my brain so I pass out? Yes, I'm trying to stop the circulation of blood and oxygen to your brain so you'll pass out. Some of y'all might be wondering, Hannibal, if you were choking that dude, why was he still talking regular? And that was just a choice I made for that joke. <laughs> Didn't feel like doing a choking voice. I used to live with my girls. I would come home late, she would get upset. Hannibal, where were you? It's three, it's three. Like, stop focusing on the time. You realize I could do bad shit and still make it home at seven o'clock. <laughs> She's like, well, what would you do if I stayed out till three in the morning? Me, I play video games and celebrate your absence. <laughs> I realized recently my judgment gets messed up more by food and juice than it does by drugs or alcohol. Like, I love apple juice. I think it's delicious. I want to start my own apple juice company. I don't know how you go about doing that. I tried emailing some companies for advice. Didn't work out. One day I get at the grocery store, me and my girl, Mott's Fresh Press Natural Apple Juice, $1.79 for a half gallon. That's a great sale. We get eight bottles. Eight bottles is all we have on the belt. In front of us is an old man looking back, shaking his head like, no, nah, nope. Like, what's wrong, old man? You mad because we got all this apple juice? You can go get some, too. It's over there in aisle four. But if not, stop judging us. Hell yeah, we are hoarding apple juice, taking advantage of this sale before this store. Realize what a horrible mistake they've made. <laughs> and you know what? We're back here happy with our apple juice. And you up there lonely with your Hormel chili, you lonely Hormel chili eating old man. But then it took me a minute to realize he wasn't shaking his head because of the apple juice. He was shaking his head because my girlfriend was white and he didn't agree with that. But I was so caught up in the euphoria of having all that apple juice <laughs> that for like a minute I lived in this world where racism didn't exist. I was like, it's obvious that this old man is just an apple juice hater. <laughs> Thanks a lot, y'all. Later. Later.